All right, hello people. Today we talk about junctions. Uh, I've seen something on Reddit that was quite curious. So the plan was that he got a station here, something like this. This was a drop station for two types of cargo and one of them came from here and the other one from here. And he got some interesting setup, uh, something like this, and was wondering why it was not working. So first of all, this is not a junction, uh, but what I would do is use two wave path signals. One here, one here facing to the station, and this is just not needed. But if we do need it, because there is more than one train on that way, in that case, this facing this way, something like this would be the signaling of it, uh, because in this case. Uh, any train from each direction can come in and the other train is gonna wait here and here respectively until one platform is free. But let's try to upgrade this to a proper way. So first of all, regardless how few uh, stuff do you deliver, you should have um, first of all, this is this is on the bad spot, so it should be there. Uh, second, signals there, signals there, and yes, use double lines. So something like this would be also another thing i seen it many times that if you use this type of lead junctions which is in general a bad idea many people say that on the exit sides leave at least a train length of empty so there is no deadlock which is true but you can manage it without that so it's absolutely not necessary first thing you can do is send everybody to the depot so no deadlock also if if this section of the junction is far away from any other uh, stations or other junctions the chance that this gonna be deadlocked is basically zero uh, if it does, then you have problems somewhere else. But next, let's try to make it a bit more efficient. So, we peel back this part. Uh, the straight bit gonna get a sick, uh, bridge. So they don't block each other when they crossing path. And this can come back and join there. Put back the signals on it. And this is already a much better solution. Uh, you can use tunnels instead of bridges. Uh, it's absolutely up to you. If uh, The only thing is that uh, bridges need less space than tunnels. Just a little bit. Okay, so let's remove that part and see what if we need to turn this way as well in this case um, turning here is relatively easy turning over here is not that easy so again we need to peel this one back remove one tile put a bridge there and put a bridge here so in this case you can do another neat trick that make another tunnel and 
put back the signals on it everywhere so now you can turn left right center and here you get one down and one up if you do this uh, without the tunnels then you have to use two bridge like this and in this case you go up down up down but it's just a little bit easier especially on the weaker trains okay so let's extend it this way this looks a little bit silly so in I used to do something like this so in this case what you do is pick the line with the least amount of traffic going straight and bridge them then you should have your signals everywhere something like this and then you pick a point maybe here uh, how close you can take the point is depends on train length and their other attributes okay it doesn't really match up with the signals but nothing that more signal can solve and you take it this way as well like this now you see we have crossings here so we just put a bridge there and here as well so bridge bridge here okay signals all the way right so this will give you another point and you know it has to come here from this point on so signal there you bridge that bit you that one and then this will exactly line up there so you have the inner crossing except you need a bridge here so they don't cross each other path at all and once you have done that you're gonna do the same with the other tracks So bridge here okay we have some issues uh, that part is fine the bridge goes there oh yeah uh, this needs to go there not here and then we have the bridge space over there and you come here and meet up there bridge over this one and voila you have your four-way crossing so the main point is that you pick a starting location and split in three ways and merge them into the other two lines and the third one goes straight and you and this way you get all your directions covered uh, but this way nobody will slow down significantly and the verse is a four signal gap now of course you can double up all of these uh, bridges but that's only necessary when you are building a huge network with thousands of trains okay so that's the uh, first step into the junction signaling and building um, when you double up this whole thing that's that's gonna be messy we upgraded this very simple very little thing into a quite uh, complex thing thanks for watching bye